Good day viewers, today we'll be performing the foraminal compression test. Its other name is spurling test. The test is performed if the patient complains of nerve root symptoms which are diminished or absent on the examination. The test is designed to provoke symptoms. Now, in this test, there are three stages. Each stage is increasingly provocative. If patient symptoms appear on the first stage, one does not proceed to the next stage. The test is positive if the patient complains of pain that radiates into the arm towards which the head is side flexed during compression. The test indicates a pressure on the nerve root. The first stage of Sperling's test. Patient is in a sitting position and the examiner is at the back of the patient. This stage involves the head in neutral position and the examiner carefully compresses down on the head. That was the first stage. The second stage, this stage involves the head of the patient is in extension and the examiner carefully compresses down on the head of the patient. That was the second stage. For the third stage, the head of the patient in extension and rotation to the unaffected side. And then the examiner carefully compresses down on the head. Please remember to do this process to the side of complaint with compression. A test result is classified as positive if there is pain that radiates into the arm towards which the head is head flexed during compression, thus indicates a pressure on a nerve root. 